I want to bring in ABC News political analyst Matt Dowd, who has advised both Republican and Democratic campaigns. Matt, as always, great to have you with us. Great to be here, David. And you've got three things for everyone to watch for in this debate. One of the things you point out, body language can have a bigger impact than words, and we all remember Al Gore, George Bush, and John Stewart having a field day with those sighs. I've had a record of appointing judges in the state of Texas. That's what a governor gets to do. As if the sighing weren't bad enough, Gore's behavior got worse. In that same year, we remember that moment when Al Gore got up, walked over towards then Governor Bush, and this was his reaction. Can you get things done? And I believe I can. All right. Famous moment. moment. Years prior, there was then President H.W. Bush checking his watch at the debates. These have all become sort of famous moments. Are these debate prep teams telling their candidates this is what you don't do? At this point in time, right now, they're emphasizing style as opposed to substance right now because debates that have changed people's minds have all been about physical characteristics and mannerisms, really, in the modern age and not about the substance of the policy answer. So they're paying a lot of attention to the style and not the substance. You can almost watch the debate with the volume down and determine who wins the thing. You point out something else, and you were at this next debate. This is an image from then-Senator Kerry taking on an incumbent president, George W. Bush, and, and you say by simply showing up, the challenger has a lot to gain. Yeah, when they stand on the same stage as the President of the United States, then you basically become almost an equal at that point in time. And that race went from seven-point lead to a one-point lead in 48 hours. And that's what the challenger was able to do. John Kerry won it and took the race to almost even within two days. So a big opportunity for Mitt Romney this week. Huge opportunity for Mitt Romney. He can take this race in the states that he's losing right now and change the dynamic of this race just by standing on stage and performing well. So much riding on it. This first debate, viewers, anywhere between 50 million, 60 million are the estimates. And this year, though, more important than ever, the early voting that's already taking place. Early voting is taking place in key states like Iowa right now, and voters are going to be watching this. They're already voting. And the best thing about this debate for these guys is that this is the first authentic moment in a while where voters want to tune in and really pay attention. It's not a television ad. It's not a convention. It's a real authentic moment they really take cues from. And it's really something to think that by Election Day, a third of American voters might have already gone to the polls. Yeah, it's campaigns used to have to plan just toward one Election Day, and now they can plan towards 30 or 35 Election Day. And that's why this debate is crucial, because voting is already going on. All right, Matt Dowd with us here in New York tonight. Matt, thanks to you and our special coverage, one-on-one. -on -one, the candidates' debate begins at 9 p.m. Eastern, Wednesday night. Diane George right here at election headquarters. I'll be in Denver with Jake Tapper, the entire political team, right here Wednesday night.